how do you manifest while also staying realistic? That was the question, so I'm reading some of these. Let's start with a place to live. Sometimes we get attached to the idea in our head, and I'm not saying you're doing this, Rachel, at all. This is just, you know, something that humans do, I think, I know. Uh, we get attached to this idea in our head of how, it's, how it should look like, this a place to live. And because we have that attachment to what it looks like, we're not seeing all the other possibilities or options, like we're wearing glasses and we just miss it. I do believe in speaking it out, writing it out, putting it out there, um, it sets something in motion. I don't know exactly what, but it works that way for me. Um, it sort of like starts that, yeah, I'm worthy to receive, I'm speaking it. So screw you, inner asshole. Melissa writes, I want a committed partner. And again, it goes back to that, I think, attachment to what we think that looks like, right? So I have a lot of single friends, beautiful single friends who, who you know, have this idea of, um, you know, some of them are gay, some are straight, but let's say the straight ones, this man they want. And it's like, well, what if you broadened your um, imagination and your mind, like you, and allowed for love in whatever package? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with knowing, well, I want someone who's tall or, you know, but staying open.